All right, once you've recorded or imported your animation, what I'm going to do, this document should be about five seconds long here. And the animation is going to take place between zero and two seconds, so right here. The five seconds is just extra just in case. So what I'm going to do is animate these separate layers individually. I want you to animate at least uh, one transformation on each layer. And you should have at least three layers, if not more. So what I'm going to do is turn them all off, and I'm going to focus on one at a time. I'm going to focus on 315 first. And I'm going to do what's called ease in and ease out. So I will explain that by saying this. A regular position, uh, I'm sorry, scale transformation. I'm going to start with scale. So I'm going to go from 0% to a 100% in a matter of 10 frames. So I'm going to start off by turning on the scale. So that keyframe right there says that I want this logo at 10 frames to be 100%. And now the scrubber being at 0, I'm going to change the percentage to 0 so the computer knows that at 0 frames or 0 seconds, I want the scale of this object to be 0%. And when I press play, it just goes from 0% to 100%. It doesn't change speed. That's called linear animation. It just goes from point A to point B. So if you were in a, a car and you came to a stop sign, you wouldn't slow down to the stop sign. You would just slam your brakes on and stop. So that's just regular animation. And what we're going to do now in this project is use ease in, ease out. So I'm going to select that keyframe right there and press F9 on the keyboard. That's going to change the diamond into what looks like sort of a T or something, a pyramid or a time uh whatever that is uh, so if I press play you'll see it slowly now it's not that noticeable but it will be because this animation takes place so quickly but it is it eases into that it slows down like you would to a stop sign so what I'm gonna do is control Z that and I'm gonna do an animation here where the 315 doesn't just go into 100% Like we did the other day with the text, it goes to, let's say, 130% first, and then it slams back down into 100%. It snaps back in. So I'm going to click on one of those keyframes and press F9. And I'm going to do it to this one as well. Um, you can do it to all of them, and it'll look more natural. I think I'm just going to do that. So now what I've done is a 315 comes up, and now what I'm going to do is have the mornings come up as well. So I'm going to turn that on. I'm going to press S. And I'm going to change the scale to 0% here. And I'm going to do the same thing with all of these. And go to 100. And I'm just going to amp it up and go to 140%. And then to the right of that, I'm going to snap it into 100%. And I'm going to check it. And now I'm going to extend it so it happens in the same amount of time. I'm going to line these keyframes up. And then I'm just going to drag this layer so it doesn't happen in the same exact time. And I'm going to probably turn on easy, ease in now. I'm going to click these keyframes and press F9 so it's more natural. All right, and now I'm going to do in. So I want N to come in right about here. So I'm going to change the scale on this. I'm going to press S to open up scale, turn it on, and I'm going to change the percentage to 0%. And now this one's really going to get big here. So I'm going to change the percentage to 190% maybe. Let's see. That's way too big. Uh, around here, 150%. And then... I'm going to press F9, ease in, ease out there, and I'm going to change this to 100% and see what that looks like. Whew. And I can adjust the layers and the timing here. And the last thing I need to do is bring in the sun. So the sun, I'm going to move its rotation and scale. So first, I'm going to do the rotation, and I'm just going to press R here. And it doesn't matter how long I rotate this. I'm just going to take it to the, to the very end, and I'm going to change the rotation to 5 and then I'm going to check the speed to see what it looks like. It's way too fast. So I'm going to change this rotation to 2. It should rotate nice and slow. Okay, I'm going to press F9 while that key is selected so it eases in and eases out of that. So I'm going to select this keyframe here as well and press F9. And now the last thing I want to do is animate the scale on this. Again, the directions should be that you animate at least one transformation. And this one I'm rotating and scaling. So I'm going to change the position to zero. 
and then I'm going to change the, the scale to like that, which is 170%, and then I'm going to go back into 100% while it's rotating. So it scales and rotates at the same time. I'm going to press F9 on those keys right there, on those keyframes, and now you have a nice little animation from here to there. And I'm going to export this video in the next video, uh, logo in the next video. Actually, I'm just going to do it now. So you go to export, file, export, add to render queue. You decide where you're going to save it. So logo here. And at the end, I'm just going to give it a name, mod 3 logo. And I'm going to save it. And just click save and then click render and it will render here and then it's done.